Okay. Hi, my name's Katie Jane Swallow. I was formerly known as Imogen Katie Jane Gambles. I changed my name due to social services. The social services stole my children. Sorry, carry on. Do you want me to start again? Or? Yeah, start again. Yeah. Hi, my name is Katie Jane Swallow. I was formerly known as Imogen Katie Jane Gambles. I changed my name due to social services because social services took my identity. They stole my children. They lied about me. They said that because I have a mental illness, depression, which most people suffer from, it was prone to make me have blackouts, lie and forget things. Never had any issues with that in the past. I'm more than happy to share my medical records to prove so. But I didn't realise at the time until it was too late that that first document that social services put in, that's the one the judge took into consideration. We're not here to say that we don't need social services. We know we need social services. We know that there's families out there in need of social services. But what they're not in need of is children being taken. That's harmful to the child and the bond between the relationship. What needs to happen is social services need to focus on the family unit, keeping families together. If there's parents out there that are struggling, social services need to come in and help. Everyone should feel like a godsend if social services turned up to their door. Not feel like the end of the world. Not feeling like you have to run away. There's families out there running constantly away from social services just so they can protect their children. A lot of parents here thought we could protect our children and the social services would help us protect our children. And most of us here were wrong. We thought our social services were going to come in and help us. Help us be better people, help us learn, teach us how to be better people. Teach us how to have the best bond with our kids. Teach us how to raise our kids in a respectable, perfect way. The people here don't care what colour our kids' eyes are or what colour our kids' hair is. We don't care about that. All we care about is that our, chi our child, our children are happy, they're healthy and they grow up to be beautiful human beings. We don't care if they turn out to be rocket scientists or lawyers. We don't care. All we want for our children is for them to be happy, loved and wanted. And our children are wanted. We want our kids. We will do everything in our power to get our kids back. And this is my first stand. And I'm not giving up until my babies are home where they belong. My babies tell me every time that they miss me that they love me. As soon as my kids see me, they run up into my arms and they jump into my arms and they tell me how much they've missed me and how much they love me. How much they want to come home. And it kills me every time that I can't just pick them up, hug them and say, come on, let's go home. Because if we do that, we're kidnapping our children. When all our children want is to come home. They want to know they're loved by their parents. They want to know that their families want them. I personally know a, a person, a, an adult who was adopted as a child and he's had a terrible life. He's had ups, yeah. He's had downs, yeah. But he wants to know his real parents. He doesn't know the truth. He doesn't know if his siblings are his siblings. He doesn't know if his parents wanted him or if they didn't. He doesn't know if his case was false adopted or not. But what we do know is social services need to help families. This can change. It can get turned around, it can get fixed. Bring families back together, help them repair, help families mend and heal like they need to do. Our children need to heal. They deserve to have a perfect, happy, healthy life without having mental issues or wondering who they are, where they come from, where their parents are, if the parents wanted them or if their parents even loved them. And if I never get to see my daughter again, my daughter will never know that she's a miracle. Every, do every girl I've carried beforehand, I've lost. My daughter is the only one I've carried full term. And I lost her due to social services. And it's torn me apart. This is the first time I've gone out of Manchester since October 2017. I need my babies back. My babies need to come back. We need to mend. We need to heal. This is Britain. We're supposed to be proud of our country. I'm British. I'm not proud of my country. I want my country to be help its people. Help its the people around us, there's people walking past us who don't realise 
They don't have to do anything to get social services involved. All they have to do is have a kid. That's it. That's all they need. They can make the rest up. Family court isn't... A, a family court isn't beyond a reasonable doubt. It isn't based on factual evidence. It isn't based on physical evidence. It's based on, on, a, on a balance of probability. Which story is more probable? And the problem that us parents have is it's just us fighting against social services, the guardian, the judge, and everyone else who comes into question. We are on our own. Our voices are not being heard because everyone thinks we are no one. I'm not no one. I am a mother of two beautiful children and I will die before I let anyone hurt them. <laughs> if you don't die, I will um, make sure we will die together for our children, okay? Don't step back. Don't, honestly, I tell you. Make me, you make me cry, honestly. You make me a cry. Okay? My name is Katie Jane Swallow. My daughter is Christy Sandra Marie Gambles. My son is Liam Seamus Gambles. And they were loved. They are loved. I still have all their things because I can't bear to part with them. I still sleep with my daughters and my son's t-shirt in bed with me. From all my daughters and all my son's teddies in bed with me. I have pictures of them everywhere. I put pictures of them on the fence because people need to see their face. They have faces. I have a face. I have a name. My kids have faces. My kids have names. They deserve to be heard and we're going to get heard. Whether it takes a day, a week, a month, a year, ten years, we are going to get heard. We are going to get justice for our kids. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Stay here, stay here, stay here. Well done. Well done.